Hello my dear jewelry lovers, today I will tell you the story of the smallest brooch from the collection of Margaret Greville. The smallest brooch from Margaret Greville's collection that Elizabeth II was fond of. Socialite Margaret Greville bequeathed all her jewelry to Queen Elizabeth. The exact list of what went to the British monarchy is not known, but some things we periodically observe on its representatives. Today I propose to talk about the smallest but no less valuable and beautiful brooch, which came to the taste of both Queen's Elizabeth, mother and daughter. The platinum jewellery has a rather simple design, a diamond scroll, is interspersed with three pearls, one of which has the appearance of a drop. The brooch was created in 1929 by the jewellery house Cartier, and we are reminded that this was the Art Deco era by the pair of horizontal rows of diamonds. On the sides, which seemed to hold the scroll. Margaret Greville was extremely partial to pearls. According to the recollections of her contemporary Maggie Pam Burbage, she could talk about them for hours and literally enjoyed having her jewellery praised in the press. Queen Mother Elizabeth had similar inclinations, so in the post-war years, she often appeared in public with a Greville brooch. Interestingly, the shape of the jewellery is cleverly designed so that it can be worn with the pearl drop either up or down. However, in all the photos where it is pictured, both Elizabeths always wear it with the drop upwards. Perhaps they liked it better that way, or perhaps there is some tradition that we don't know about. Incidentally, it's quite likely that there really is something personal associated with the brooch. For example, the Queen Mother never wore such jewellery. She liked massive brooches decorated with chains or pendants. However, a cute pearl thing complements her outfits very often, and even at the most solemn events. For example, she pinned it to a bright green evening dress at the celebration of her 100th birthday in Covent Garden. Incidentally, she was also wearing diamond earrings and a necklace from Greville's box that night. Elizabeth II inherited the brooch in 2002, but for the next 10 years either did not wear it at all or simply did not appear in public. However, she wore it twice during her 2011 tour of Australia. Perhaps it was a tribute, as the Queen Mother also wore the brooch when she visited the former colony in 1958. The first time the brooch was worn by Elizabeth II can be seen in photos from a tree planting ceremony outside Government House in Canberra. The Queen later wore it at a reception at Government House in Perth. The brooch looked absolutely stunning on her bright blue jacket, with the pearls shining like real aquamarines. In 2013, Elizabeth II presented the Order of New Zealand to the Duke of Edinburgh. For the ceremony at Buckingham Palace, the Queen chose a dress with a bright floral print and a brooch already familiar to us. Usually such small jewels are lost on the floral background, but here the sparkle of diamonds brought the dress to life in a very favourable way. I think the perfect outing with the Greville brooch was Elizabeth II's 2016 appearance at the opening of the Lion Country exhibition at London Zoo. Just look at how favourable the jewel looks on the wide neckline of the Queen's jacket and blends perfectly with the vintage lines of the hat. It is very interesting how the future of Greville brooch will turn out, whether it will be worn by Camilla or Kate, or maybe it will be loved by young Charlotte. Let's see. Did you like this brooch? Write comments.